Hello viewers, I'm SB, and this is Hylix. Probably a fair number of you have never heard of this before, but this game has a real reputation on certain parts of the internet, and I've been meaning to get around to checking it out myself, seeing what all the fuss is about, for some time. And I figured, you know what, if I'm going to go on a journey of exploration, I'm certainly not going to go alone. I'm going to bring all you lovely people with me. So, uh, the developer, Mason Lindroth, describes this game as a recreational program with light JRPG elements. Um, I know this is only a, uh, only a few hours long. There is a sequel that came out recently that I'm very interested in checking out as well, unless it turns out that I, <laughs> that I hate this or something, but I, I am not anticipating that to be the case. So, come with me, won't you, on a journey of discovery into a thing that looks just real weird, even, even right here from the title screen. And in case you were wondering, <laughs> it's got kind of an unusual uh, aspect ratio and uh, also everything else about it. In case you're wondering, this is not like some old pre-internet era game. This game came out in 2015. It looks like this on purpose. This is what he was trying to do. Um, so, you know, let that, <laughs> let that inform your understanding of the game as we go forward. I'm going to hit start. I don't even actually know how it's played, so we're going to have to stumble around here a little bit and try to figure out the controls. I think this looks so cool. Feeling rapidly chills the products. Th the people? Pilot below a memory? Probably that says the, but it's slightly aligned off the screen. I, I hesitate to say misaligned. Oh, actually, no. You guys can see the words clearly. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the game in the preview window then, because my my view, the black line cuts off right before the word is. Weird. It is a feeling near a clean passion. It is like a insect. Think <laughs> Thanks to Brain. <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. Thanks to Brain, everyone. Meanwhile, Gibby, King of the Moon, sort of hydrates a vacuum inside the gentle lard world. Thus, your story begins. Most of my stories do begin in the lard world. That's true. Act Act One. We made it to Act One, everybody. Am I? Play oh, that's okay. That's us. Uh, do I? Is this a switch? I throw the switch. I did it. I turned on the Act One. Okay, this is this is our protagonist, I'm pretty sure, based on the pictures on the Steam store page. So, spacebar interact? Yes. Wait a minute, let me do that again without talking over it. That's that's the sound of a cat. Good cat. Good good kitty. We probably weird that I don't know the name of my own cat. It's your life savings. You got 53 bucks. Oof. Getting a little too close to home right there. This is a crystal. Now, okay. Well, I cannot toggle it back to the other state, so hopefully it didn't need to be in that state. Why play a video game when we can just chill out and watch TV? Learned a blade of hollow pleather. Good. That that's I'm glad that that has happened. Are these Roombas or... No, these are bugs. Okay, yeah, that's what bugs say. So the... My secret lair is... Wait, can I get back? Oh, the, it's down the stairs. I don't know what's wrong with me. For a second there, I just assumed... Oh, I must have come up a trap door underneath the bathroom rug. Why would... Why would that be my assumption? Can we get toilet paper? Toilet paper was found. Great. Warm burrito was found. Don't... How do I how, how do I, how do I put back the burrito? I'm trying to open my inventory. I'm just at this point just pressing keys with wild abandon. All of the buttons on the keyboard. Any of these do anything? Seems like a no. That's a big no. Oh wait, that one did something. Which I don't even know what that was. Was that Z? It was C. Okay, the C button opens up my thing. I am probably named Wayne. I have flesh and will. Uh, in my case, I feel like I have a lot more will than flesh, but I guess Wayne is just a little bit different than me. And, okay, I, I do have warm burrito. Revives dead ally, wow. That's a good burrito. You shouldn't store that in the toilet. The toilet is not not the place to store things that are useful. Can be worn as rudimentary body armor. Oh, do, uh, do so then. Do I, I can't equip it from here. Get dressed. Yes, Wayne, get dressed. Uh, garb. I would like to be wearing garb. There we go. And we also have a gun. No bullets. 
Well, I mean, listen. If if it's heavy enough, you can just hit people with it. So we have we have mightiness, texture, jollity, cooking, guts, and philology. I only have one point of philology. Philology is stamps. That's ph philately. All right, I'm tabbing out. I'm gonna look up what philology means. We're not we're not going into this blind. I will not be hampered by my own ignorance. Not again. Not this early in the morning. The branch of knowledge that deals with the structure, historical development, and relationships of a language or languages. Okay. Well, that's a good thing to have more than zero points in. Uh, oh, sorry, I have to retap. I have to... <laughs> sorry, let me get OBS back up because I need the preview window to be able to see my menus. It's going well so far. I'll have this fixed for the next episode, don't you worry. What are Wayne's powers? Uh, we do, of course, have the, the Hollow Pleather. And then also we know some hypno sigils. I'm assuming these are will costs, these numbers next to them. The dossier. Tell me about Wayne. Wayne is feeling hideous. Again, just like a little, in, in my opinion, a little bit close to home. Can we check out the bathtub? There is... Maybe you should bathe. Okay, I am feeling hideous. This might help. Flesh and will were restored. Okay, that's good, because we did, we did gain a little bit of flesh from... Ah, uh, no, I don't need to bathe again. How do I be anywhere else? Can I... None of these walls open up. I'm just, like, mashing interact on all the surfaces now. I love Wayne's walk cycle. Was there... Oh, the, ha, there's a front door to the house. Perhaps that's a smart way to do the thing. Okay, hello, squirrel. Wait, squirrel, talk to me. Cannot talk to squirrel. Does not work that way. Uh, I accidentally just totally annihilated that trash can. Will the same thing happen to this one? Nope, this time I steal the trash can lid. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and assume that I can equip that trash can lid as a shield or something. Perhaps a deflector? Look at that. Trash can lids are mobilized in times of strife. That's true. As a person who's lived through a time of strife or two. You know, ob uh, objects gotta get repurposed. These things happen. Oh, this is... There's a, a real, like, Dr. Seussiness to this little area here. Acquired a vegetable. Yeah, that definitely had vegetables on it. Most of them we just seem to break down without acquiring vegetables. Uh, what about the ones that look like trees? Yep, just kind of... Just kind of destroying stuff. He did say it was a recreational program. I'm just, I'm recreating. What's more fun than destroying your environment for no gain at all? If human behavior is any indication, nothing. Nothing is more fun than that. What is, is that a llama? Are you a, what are you? You are a thing that does not have any interest in interacting with me. Can you imagine? What would that be like to have no interest in interacting with me? Okay, I think we... Oh, there's 47 bucks in here. Yo, that's a lot of bucks. We've almost doubled our bucks. Hold on, there's some kind of there's some kind of fracas occurring up here. Let us go and investigate before we wander off the screen. Are you... Is this a boombox? Oh, I can change the song. Just the one time, though. It does not want to change again. Okay, that's... You know what? That's fine. I like this song. Actually, I like the other song. Uh, you are too busy rocking out for talking. No, here we go. To the northeast is the shining city of Shubpoilov. Shubpoily. Shubpoily. May its fate endure 1,000 years. Okay, assuming that it has a fate that is, is well fitted to it, I suppose so. Alright, let's um, arbitrarily pick a direction here. And by arbitrarily, I mean the close one. Okay, so we got a little bit of a world map. There are definitely some... Ah, we found Shabboily. Well, let's, fa let's find out about its fate, then. Hey, guy. Semilard horribly is a season's memory. You think the odds are this game is set in cud? Can we, you want to try that again, my friend? What indulges my sustenance? So what levitates she, despite another apparel? I'm beginning to suspect that this text is machine-generated. Or perhaps perhaps some text was written and then it was um, machine-translated back and forth a couple of times or something. Manifest below the sh that shriveled being. Don't tell me where to manifest. Who do you think you are? Ahead lies Mount Menthirmath. Beware of the wicked cone cultists. You know, I kind of love the idea of there being um, a bunch of what appears to be procedurally generated text 
next to a bunch of non-procedurally generated text? Because we can't know if the thing this guy just said to us was randomly just pretty much sensible, or if it's actually, like, made that way. We found some meat, sure. You know, at this point, garbage can meat? Fine. Next to toilet burrito? That's absolutely fine. If we if we decide that we accept toilet burrito, then all the all the bets are off. Because you're just making gentle noises. Uh, is this your couch? Welcome to Shapoili, the shining city. I grow the insects, which I guess is what these are. For a certain value of insect. I'm just saying I don't see a thorax on any of these dudes. What's in your treasure chest? Why a stick of dynamite? Of course I t yes, of course I take it. Who would not take a stick of dynamite? Can I sit on the couch? I would love it if this insect would move. Oops, right, when I touch things, that happens a lot. Okay, just, just be careful about what we touch, he says, before immediately trying to touch all other objects in the environment. Right, are these stairs? They are. Well, we see another one of those crystals. What's your deal, friend? The cult permits nothing to leave Menthirmath. In this way, they hope to promote a reverse erosion. Okay, we have a word for that, you know. I'm gonna teach him a word. Can you spell accretion? My dude, talk to me. He will not talk to me again. He has no interest in my... in my nonsense. You know, I tried to teach him the word accretion. He probably thought that was condescending. That's my bad. I, you know, I get like that. I'm tough. It's... people are tough. Thrum its life. She hydrates beside your sphere-like ocean. And the quotation marks don't necessarily imply that he was mocking us, but that's, that's the way that it just seemed to me. Something about sphere-like ocean. It just it doesn't sound like it could be anything other than an insult. Hold on, I want to make sure we've actually checked out this whole screen before we move to the next one. I don't know if we need to touch the crystal or if it's even useful to do so, but we're going to try. I don't exactly know how to get over there. Who batters his feelings? And who stretches she in your vent? Yeah, okay. So hold on. Maybe we can, like, learn... Maybe it's dudes with certain kinds of heads are the procedural chat ones? Or what's up, my friend? What's texturizing out of my feeling? What falsifies the gastropod amidst my government? It is, delicately, my luxury. Uh, okay, I mean, gas gastropods are sort of a luxury. You know, in these times, every everybody's got it tough. That's just, I, I knocked over this trash can and a nine came out and I cannot pick it up. That's not my nine, you know? What's in here? Hello. If you want to use the tub, it's going to be 25 bucks. Oh, my flesh and will were restored. I did not mean to say yes. I guess once you talk to him, you're kind of locked in. I discovered a juice box. Does the juice box refilm one of my meters, maybe? 80% juice, 20% box. That's a reasonable ratio. Yeah, it's a bunch of will. Not a big surprise. So we got some dynamite that we could throw at people. We got a lot of vegetables. Remnant of a sentient being you destroyed. It might come in handy later. Hey, that's judgmental. I did not destroy this being. I discovered a pre-destroyed being. Uh, are we up on the ledge where the crystal is? We might be, actually. Do you want to talk to me? What avenges that radiance with prison? Joyful sustenance. I don't think that that was the answer to that. It's probably like a cone. He was just saying joyful sustenance because he likes to say that. Okay, this crystal turns on and is a different color than the last one. You can learn special abilities from the televisions, which are scattered throughout this realm. Oh, helpful, and also not procedurally generated, and also you are exactly identical to a guy who was speaking, I believe, procedurally generated text before, so no, we are not going to be able to use the appearances of people to tell who have actual things to say to us. Ah well. When fighting a flesh tash, you must attack, then rest, and then guard, lest you suffer the creature's repast. The Knight of Pungorma is said to be immune to the deadly touch of ambulant skulls. That's a big power to have in a video game. He resides on an island to the west, behind a sealed door. Okay, I'm assuming that that Wayne is not writing any of this down. I'm not going to remember. I mean, again, the game's supposed to be quite short, but still, I'm not going to remember all this lore. 
Uh, please go around. Oh, this is a counter. That's my bad. Sorry. That's that's pretty rude of me. My armors will raise your maximum flesh points. Some have additional bonuses. Behold their magnificence. Did you forget to put the armors in the... Okay, I have to click buy before we can see anything. Uh, so we can pick up a torso shell. But it's not... So this would be plus 10 over my toilet paper. I don't think it's worth the money, he says, not having any idea how good plus 10 is. Ooh, berry shield. That is a pretty good shield. All right, you know what? I'm not, we're not, we're, I'm not selling anything yet. Or I'm not buying anything yet. Hold on, what, what can we sell? Does this stuff sell for much? It actually doesn't say. Well, that's a bummer. I wish that it said. Can I, okay, I'm gonna hit the button. Ah, uh, okay, when you do this, it tells you. So, ten bucks for a vegetable. He won't even buy meat or warm burritos. He can tell that burrito came from a toilet. He just look at it. Okay, the dynamite's valuable. Do I have any instruments? I don't. I really have a lot of stuff. It turns out it's pretty early in the game. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. We'll come back if we, if we find a whole lot more money or we decide we desperately want something. Okay, this is also a counter. Have you heard about our bleak cellophane? That's the best kind of cellophane, probably. The clerk describes this as a mil-spec biomod. Allows wearer to wield two weapons. Okay, those are some pretty good tendons, man. Prevents blind. Formed into a nugget for easy portability. 20% of wearer's normal attacks inflict the poison status. It's just a, it's just a nugget of bad juju. Huh. I guess I've never seen this stuff, you know, physically manifested before. Don't really know what that would even look like. Uh, yes. Well, yes. I don't have a frozen... Okay, that's right. My burrito is warm. I thought maybe I'd be able to, you know, modify my burrito. Make it even more effective. Frozen burritos can be effective projectiles. Feel safe when you walk outside. Are you going to sell me frozen burritos? Ooh. Okay. That's actually a really interesting system. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta manage our burritos carefully. You know what? Give me one of those. That I will buy. We're gonna keep one frozen. We have a warm one. We know we know approximately how effective they are. All right, let's uh, let's go upstairs here. Let's see about this one as a projectile, or you know, see how combat works at all ever. That's also a thing that we need to do at some point. Perhaps there will be combat up here. Or perhaps there will never be combat, and all of this stuff is just a big, a big fun joke. Huh, that certainly has a suggestion. Hi! Cone Man? Oh, Cone Man is enemy. Uh, okay. Shh. What specials do I have? Oh, especially, right, use your skills. Guards and heals 30% of flesh. Probably causes enemies to fall asleep. Uh, I mean, let's just do an attack, right? Let's see how normal attack does against Cone Cultist C. Got him. Ow. That's kind of a lot of damage relative to the amount of damage we're dealing. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, if we had killed him in, in one or two hits, that would have been... That would have been lovely to see. What happens if I guard? Like, how good is it? Okay, wow, it's a lot of damage reduction, actually. All right, I'm gonna hollow pleather us real quick here. Yep, that's, that's what that would look like. That seems pretty powerful. Okay. So they have somewhere between 32 and 48 health. They hit fairly hard. I'm a little concerned. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little concerned. We probably cannot, like, stay in this area for very long. At this, at this rate of resource expenditure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, like... I hit guard. That's not what I meant. Okay, he's sulking. That's that, that's good news for us. Probably because we've killed all his friends. I would be upset if somebody showed up looking all, like, Mac tonight and just killed my friends. Alright, did we get experience points? Is that a thing? Well, 150 bucks is a huge amount of money. Also, resources. Holy crap. Oh, I forgot we could throw our frozen burrito at people. Uh, so it seems like combat rules in terms of resource generation? Uh-oh. Now what have I done? This was unwise. 
Uh, I'm gonna throw a frozen burrito at a man. Am I gonna die if I do this? I'm gonna, um, hollow pleather one more time. Uh-oh. I can't see a damn thing. He's blinded me, but I don't... I don't have a way of... Oh, no, that's not true. I do have a way of removing status effects. I'm just gonna eat this vegetable. I was trying to... I was trying to hold off on actually using items. You know, save items as long as you can. But, uh, I think we maybe needed to there. Oh, dear. The mightiness. So, I'm gonna die. There's no runaway, huh? Okay, well... I'm gonna, um, we're gonna test the dynamite. Oh no, oh no, I became blind. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good amount of damage. 75 damage does not do the job here. Uh, I would like to vegetable again, please. So it turns out combat's like real scary relative to the way things often work in a JRPG, and also, I'm just, I'm gonna get blinded every time this dude feels like it's time to take any actions. But it's alright, I can still sometimes see. 50! 50? That's a lot of healing. Uh, what if I were to throw a frozen burrito at you? I'm not sure if that's gonna work with me not really being able to see. I mean, the dynamite worked. But dynamite's, yeah, I missed. Dynamite's, um, a little bit more... User-friendly? <laughs> that's a bad description. There's a lot of things about Dynamite that are not user-friendly. Alright, I'm gonna do this, because I think this turn he's gonna... Nope, he didn't attack us. That's a shame. He's. I was hoping that we would catch him doing the Mightiness during this turn. The Mightiness boost. I'm gonna try to throw a Frozen Burrito at him again, and hopefully... Okay, he didn't blind us first. That's a good sign. 40 damage. That's something. Oh god, his poetry is so mighty. Okay. That was terrifying. We didn't really get that much more money. Got some okay loot, though. Alright, so cone men. Cone men are a bad time. I do not wish to spend more time with the cone- Oh, this is money! This is money on the ground! Hell yeah! Alright, let's try to avoid some cone men. In the future. We're not gaining experience or anything, like we're not getting stronger. So maybe we just- Oh, I am clumsy. I don't want to do this. This is going to be a nightmare. Uh, uh, frozen burrito, that guy. Alright, he failed to blind me. Like, we gotta just reduce the number of enemies that we're looking at right away here, right? I think that's pretty important. Uh, I am still out of will. We could restore some will. But it doesn't seem great. I'm a little worried that I'm just going to end up dead here. Does it do damage to me when I get the blinding attack? I don't think it does, right? Alright, now that that's happened, we're gonna go vegetable, because I think he's gonna do the blind, and then we're gonna immediately remove it with our well-timed vegetable. Check it out, I'm getting there. And then we hope they miss their headbutts. Alright, good time for sulking. Ugh. Please don't miss. Please don't get blinded and miss. Okay. Got blinded, but didn't miss. That's fine. Now, I think we're okay, because the attack that he does, that does damage, is slower than our item use. And then de it. And the heal doesn't do anything, because they're all at full health already. Alright, if we can just make it through this blind... Ah, damn. I think I'm gonna go for it one more time. And then we'll... We'll vegetable here, because I think this is the round when he's gonna do the blind again, right? Nope, he didn't. I guess he just doesn't do it if you're still blind. Alright, um... Boy. I mean, his mighty just return. His mightiness just returned to normal. So I'm gonna do this again, and we're gonna hope for an evade or something. I need to. I need to not go massively down on health. That should work. Okay. Whew. 
These dudes are way tough. We should probably not be here. I probably should have just bailed after we figured out how tough these guys are rather than running around trying to dodge stuff. And a huge, huge problem with this strategy is that this guy's gonna take like, it's gonna take a lot of hits to kill this guy. We don't actually even have a good sense of how much health he has, but we know that he can undo three full turns of us attacking at any time. Die. He didn't, he didn't die. He's not listening to me. Okay, we should probably ought to use a vegetable here. I wonder if our vegetable garden will regrow. I'm trying to be as aggressive as I think we can afford to be, because obviously I want him to die before he does another heal. But, man, the damage output, it's just terrifying. Alright, well, we got a lot of money. I need to get out of here. We're just, we're just, we're just not outfitted for this nonsense. That's fine. We got a lot of money. We came up here and we, we earned ourselves a lot of money. Let's go buy some armor and stuff. Shabpoili is a terrible place. But they have neat armor for sale. And then after we buy some things, we're, I'm, I think we're just going to leave, actually. Rather than getting involved in all kinds of nonsense. We'll come back. You know, we'll come back when I'm feeling a little, a little mightier. When I have more mightiness. I would like to purchase from you. You're not the guy. I get it though. Bleak cellophane, and then you don't get the blind status. I see what I see. What the point is? That said, the damage output is the thing I'm really worried about. All right. I would love to behold the magnificence of your armors, please. Hey, yeah, that sounds all right. Give me that. Also, we don't even have a hat on right now, so that's like all. That's all benefit. Uh, too large to be worn with any other armor, but it does, uh, it does create quite a lot of extra health. I think, I mean, I think we gotta. I think we'd be fools not to. And then, get me out of here and get dressed. Hey, Wayne, you big idiot. Hold on. There's an optimize button. Oh, that's right. That's what it meant. Too large to be worn with any other armor. Silly me was like, well, that's not a, that's just flavor text, right? Because you already can't wear armor with armor, but it means it disables your other slots. Uh, well, it's still better, right, than unequipping it and then putting on the, let's see, with this and the crown, we have, is my health really not listed on this screen? It's not. 85. Okay. Okay. So I maybe am not, you know, I'm not using our resources optimally. Hold on. In the system menu, can I, uh, in the system menu, in the save menu, can I save? All right. Cool. We did it. Let's go somewhere else, huh? This, this place seems like it's maybe, the combat part of this place seems like it's maybe a thing you're not supposed to be here at yet. If I talk to you from behind the counter, do you say the same thing? Yes. You are also creeped out by my total lack of social graces. I get that. I'm a little creeped out myself, honestly. Alright, there are lots of other locations. Oh, I found a boat. Neat. Uh, obviously, we need to open that gate. Can I just walk down there and interact with it? No. Well, then let's hope this little place opens it up. Although you have to imagine that leaving the island is, is just going to take us to an even higher level area. That, uh, do not touch the ambulance skulls, or you will die. That is, that is a bad image. That image conveys to me a sense of not wanting to touch the thing. To initiate warp, make contact with the central node. Unauthorized access is discouraged, but not strictly disallowed. Impede his ray. He destroys beside his hylic gland. Uh, listen, buddy, mixed company. Don't just be talking about people's hylic glands. The warp access is currently infested. The creatures fear the dotted red line and will not cross it. Enjoy your time in the warp access. Okay, that's good information. Uh, you're the creatures? Yes? They do seem to fear the line. Yeah, he gets close to it and then runs away. Okay, they would like to kill me. Well, I've really, I've really locked us out of here. Uh, can I... 
use thing. Boy, maybe we should go back and shower. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back home and take a quick bath, and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna kick some ass. That is going to happen. Uh, is this interactable? Mysterious tower. Okay, I agree with that assessment. It is both of those things. Let's just take a quick bath. All right. I have all this flesh and all this will. And let's check the vegetable garden. My guess is it will not have regrown. Yep. Ah, well. Think of all the bucks we got, though. All right. Let's try it. Ah, leaving, leaving and coming back resets their positions. That seems pretty good. I wonder how much we are expected to, to combat. I wonder how much we, ha we are going to have to, to survive. Uh, okay. That seems bad. That seems like just a guy being eaten by some kind of slug. Ooh, TV. Teach me a thing. Sweet, sweet television. Just like in real life. Learned mystic meat. Okay. I, we're not going to be able to get past this guy. We're just going to have to go through. Alright, I don't know what you are. You are a spiral polycerate. Okay, well, it's not the thing I was, I was instructed to use a special pattern against. What does the mystic meat do? Oh, wow, prevents status ailments for three turns. That seems pretty good. Definitely seems like you're supposed to come here before going to the other place. Bam. You know what I would really love is like a weapon. Oh no, a doom spiral. It's the same. It's the same damage. That doesn't seem special at all. Uh, try sleep. Okay, so some of these guys can attack. But sometimes they can attack before us. Aha! You fools. I'm assuming damage will wake them up. Yeah, but. Fighting one at a time seems like a good idea, huh? Alright, I need to restore my health. So probably we should just do the hollow pleather. Yeah, we're a little we're getting a little low on material resources here. Ow. Oh no. Oh no, the waking. Uh re sleep. Alright, hopefully this will work. Cool. Alright, let's try to burn the other one, burn one of these down real quick before the other one wakes up. Oh no! Oh no! He, do he doomed us! Which is a lot like attacking us in other ways. Alright, we had better heal now in case he gets a, uh, a high speed attack off. Yup. See, look at that. Look at me paying attention. A small amount. Some of the time. Now, uh, our... The other one woke up. Well, alright, it's not so bad. See, it turns out enemies are just terrifying in this game, and maybe we're not supposed to be fighting. Well, here goes my last vegetable. <laughs> like, we run out of, um... We run out of will and flesh very quickly. Please, please stop. Please stop doing that. Oh no, a stun! This could actually be very bad. Kill it? Okay. Ooh. Wayne was victorious. 600 bucks found. Yo. Also dynamite. Cool. Uh, that's a bad. Don't get touched by that. Found parasite crystal. Oh, it doesn't just... Okay. I didn't realize that it didn't just wander back and forth idly. Uh, so that's gonna be an issue. Parasite Crystal, tell me about that thing. It's an instrument. Decreases flesh while greatly increasing maximum will. Is that... Instrument, is that... Do I have a slot for that? Or what is... What is it? Oh yeah, instrument is weapon. Okay. Uh... It will decrease our mightiness as well. I... No thank you. Alright, hold on. Just, just give him a second. He walked... Far enough up for him for us to get past him if we move real fast, I think, moments ago. Perhaps he will do it again. 
I'm concerned that we are just going to die here. Honestly. I have no idea what happens uh, if that occurs. I don't know if this is a game where that's maybe not even a big deal. Maybe I'm overly concerned about it. Howdy. Oh, you're like a whole dude, and not just furniture. I am the Sage of Computers. I grant you my token. Cool. Thanks. What's it for? What does it do? Seek my siblings, the Sage of Brains and the Sage of Death. They will also give you tokens. For therein lies the path to enlightenment. Ah, yes, coins. I get that. Get the strangers to give you coins. It's basically my whole life. What is this whole deal? It sort of looks like it would like lay down a bridge, right? The thing on the right? I guess it's nothing, though. I guess instead of that thing I thought it might be, it's actually nothing. Nope. Hey. Come over here. Come on. Chase me. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. And not touch any enemies, because if I do, I will certainly die. That's not true. I have dynamite. I could dynamite an enemy. I'm not afraid of... not afraid of a little explosion. I think we should leave. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and take a bath real quick, and then we'll come back and we'll try to get to the other side of this place. But frankly, uh, very concerning. Frankly, it's a very concerning sort of area. Uh, yeah. Our TV is on again. I wonder if I can interact with it a second time. Maybe, like, every so often we can come back here and just learn a new thing? Oh, maybe. That looks like the same thing, though. Yep, it is. Ah, well. Alright, crystal still... It's crystalline. So cool. Good. Good for that, then. Alright, let's try... Let's try to access the right side of that place. I'm gonna do my best to avoid combat. Combat with those guys is the pits. They do pay out, though, in a very serious way. Alright, so we have another one of our friendly red dotted lines. I'm gonna assume that I don't want to touch that. Ah! Check it out. Check out all these skills. Are you guys also afraid of red dotted lines? You are. Cool. Reservoir of clear liquid atop a pedestal. It's some kind of machine from the old times. The technology is far beyond your ken, at least for now. I mean, it has a pretty clear, like, tab on it that you should interact with. Uh, okay, well, you know, that sounds like me. All right, let's lure him back up here to the corner. There's a real, um, there's a real beefy suggestion to the bottom of them. You know, they look a little, I'm just saying, they look extruded a little. Uh, what's in here? Why, um, muscle applique, obviously. Just, why actually get muscles when you can just lay a thing over you that looks like muscles? What, what is it, though? Ooh. Yes, get. And apply thing. All right. Stats. Permanent stats. Oh, well, this is a nightmare. Ah, run, run, run. Why would I do this? What do I, what do I hate living? Yeah, I guess so. And he dies. Alright, that's pretty wicked. I'm a big fan. Oh! I was kind of expecting to teleport. This is I, I kind of thought the crystals might be checkpoints. Um, how are you doing, fish? You can use the machine over there to convert any meat you found into flesh points. Oh, that's a great idea. I have so much meat. So this is the afterlife. Feel free to crash on the couch. Uh, yeah, let's do the, the, the that other thing first. Deposited 13 meat into the grinder. Awesome. Okay, so you go to the afterlife to get stronger. I will take a nap on the couch. I don't know what this accomplishes, but... Amid the mirrors rehydrates the wrath. The ray below your product stretcheth. Hear that noisome morph. Your flesh and will are restored. I, ass I kind of assumed they were restored when we showed up here, but I guess that's not a safe assumption. The executive balcony is down the stairs. Only those who have died three times are allowed there. You need to die more. <laughs> I get it. It's my, my punch card's not filled out. What's down here? So maybe those crystals are just like places you can teleport back to. It's sort of... They sort of are checkpoints, right? If that's the case. 
Hey, man. Oh, it's the shores. It's the shores of the afterlife. Oh, this one's just like a normal fish. You can build sandcastles on the beach. Try using... I always try using the space bar. Thank you. Um, how I... Okay. Oops, don't walk over your sandcastle. Yeah, check it out. I like this one. It's got a little skull. It's got a cool skull of my own head. It symbolizes me coming to grips with my mortality. Oops. Hot dog was found. Uh, okay. Are you... Yeah, don't tell anyone that I did that. And then there's even more, even more stuff. Ooh. Are you... I mean... St. Peter? I think I can hear a TV set behind this wall. If I had dynamite, I could break through. What a coincidence. I have dynamite. It's just the tunnel guy from Spelunky. Whoa, I'll let you check it out first. Thanks, that's very brave of you. Are we all friends back here? We are. Okay, let's learn secret afterlife techniques. Learned calibration. I'm, just, I'm gonna degauss my whole reality. For real though, what is what is that? What did I just learn? Uh, temporarily increases mightiness. Okay, hopefully by like a lot. It would be cool if it was a lot. But, I mean that's gonna that's probably gonna help. You know what I need? Party members. The burrito text tells us that we are supposed to be getting party members. The, the real problem here is that I'm trying to do this alone. So, who remembers which crystal was where? The blue one's our house. I'm gonna touch this one. Oh, no, never mind. That doesn't do anything at all. I thought it was gonna teleport us back. Hey, fish, how do I... Uh, probably this, huh? Yeah, there we go. Ah, okay. So, the, I touch a color of crystal, and then I, then I walk into the terrifying void. And then we're... Okay. This is an area that I missed somehow before. No, it's not. This is the... This is that very expensive bathtub. You can't fool me. I don't think you were trying to fool me. But don't, because you because you can't. I'm forewarning you. Alright, let's get back over there and... Actually, do I need to go back over there? Did we explore everything? I mean, assuming that I kept my money, which I guess we don't have to assume. We can just check. Oh yeah, we have a ton of money. Yeah, so I guess we're maybe done with this area? Make contact with the central node. I didn't find any central node. Are you the central node? Oh, you're the central node. Ah, damn it. I failed to press left fast enough, and now I must suffer. Uh, let's put him to sleep. Damn it. One of them always gets to go first. Check out all my spirals! Nobody could possibly withstand all these spirals. I mean, we gotta try calibration, right? Is it gonna tell me how much? Nope, just some. Alright, well then let's find out this way. Okay, that's pretty powerful. That's almost twice as much damage. Unfortunately, these things are a little tougher than I would like. I mean, should I put him back to sleep? I should probably put him back to sleep. I'm not 100% sure that it's worth it to cast Calibration. Like, I don't know that it's removing enough attacks to make up for the, spot, the time we spend casting it, plus the will that we have to spend on it. Oh, we gotta kill this guy fast. Alright. The other one didn't even wake up yet, so I'm out of... Ooh. I will eat my hot dog, I guess? Yeah, we don't really have a lot of options here. <laughs> hell yeah! That is one hell of a hot dog. Alright, and now we just trade blows with this dude. And then we're in real bad shape, and we try not to get attacked again. Okay, the stun wore off instantly there. So that was nice. Must you? Must you attack me quickly with what look like arms in the animation, despite the fact that you do not have any arms? Alright, uh, we need to run away immediately. We disengage here, and then 
try to lure some enemies away from the node. Well, I, I feel like I made contact with that node. I don't know how... Apparently it's not quite that simple. Uh, well, we're gonna die, is the thing about this. Oh! We still have our dynamite, despite the fact that I thought I used it. Well, I will absolutely dynamite these dudes. I have no compunction about dynamite. Maybe it's super rare, and the fact that we got a second one was, like, a total blessing. Then again, I just found another dynamite, so probably not. Access warp? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Where have I warped to? There's... You know what this is a little bit reminding me of? Um... There was an adventure game way back in the day called Sanitarium. This is definitely giving me some Sanitarium vibes. It's definitely not, it's not the same tone at all. But I'm not 100% found a paper cup. That's true, I did find a paper cup. Also, what looks like just a cube, again, of ground beef. Alright, what is, what is my paper cup from? I'm not 100% sure why I'm getting, uh, getting the Sanitarium vibes. Again, considering, oh... Mysterious glyphs and vegetal mo motifs adorn its smooth surface. I assume in a sort of a blue color. Maybe it says Dixie on the bottom. Alright, I have no idea where we are. Yeah, I get maybe maybe all I'm maybe all that I'm getting sanitarium from is just that like this is every time I go to a place it's weird and I don't understand it here, which was also true there. These are just insects, right? Not enemies? Yeah. You can understand why I was concerned. It's like the Zelda 2 overworld. Uh, cannot interact with this object. Hello, friend. Um, this vault is off limits. Please go away. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Alright, a little presumptuous. That's a TV and a huge amount of money. I would like to... Okay. Well... I didn't really want to be destroyed. And I don't think I'm in any condition to fight. Yeah, not really. We could pop some items right now to try to get in condition to fight. Although, honestly, this is really all I can do. I mean, we could use the burrito. It feels like Revive's Dead Ally is kind of a big deal. But I guess we can just go buy more frozen burritos and then warm them up in the microwave if we want. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this and then we're gonna challenge that dude. Oh, I cannot you can only use it on a dead ally. You can't just eat a burrito. Obviously. Uh, also. You know, we'll just just in case we're just gonna Okay. Let's do it. You made me do this. Mustella Day, I summon thee. Oh no. Mustella Day. Oh god, ferrets. That's a bad sign. Uh, but what if you were all very sleepy? I was gonna say, I definitely know. Uh oh. Uh, it did not. It did not fall. To, it did not affect two of them. That's a lot of damage. I have more dynamite. <laughs> it turns out it's not that rare. We should. We should use it aggressively. Okay. Interestingly, it didn't kill two of them. Wonder why that is. I'm gonna try my hollow pleather. See if we can actually gain health here. Okay, all of the enemies missing their attacks is certainly helpful. Okay, the guard is no longer stunned. The, the mustelids are, like, real weak. Yeah. So I guess enemies might have, like, slightly randomized health. Okay, he has unleashed... Oh, no! That was too much. That was too much dark flame. Well, I hope that his mustelids remain uh, banished. Banished by the power of my explosion. I really like that death animation. That's very good. Alright, let's just get some flesh back. Get, get one of these back. I will, in fact, take a nap on the couch. It sounds like a great idea. Amid the lilies floats the moth. The mole along his galleries goth. In the dark earth. It's a slant rhyme, you know? These things happen. Listen, it's a couch, not a... It's not trained. Oh, I have to, okay, I have to touch a crystal first. It won't just take me back to the last place I crystalled. I mean, this is fine, right? Uh, is, is the green one? Which one, where does the green one take us? Oh, this is probably slightly better. Alright, touch the central thing. 
Yes, access the warp. Because I have no regard for my own self-preservation. Alright, we're gonna go and harass that dude again, and if he if he summons three fresh ferrets, we're just we're gonna leave him alone for a while after that. Excuse me, I would like your toilet and money. I am not cooperating. He does in fact generate fresh ferrets. Okay, well, we're dead. So I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my lumps here. It's fine, you know. Sometimes you die. That's just how life goes, my dude. I don't think these uh, I don't think these these ferrets here are actually very well trained for combat. I mean, it's saying they ripped my flesh, but my flesh doesn't feel all that ripped, you know. I do not think it is worth trying to fight them. So we could like. We could play resource. We could push our resources around for a while. We could mystery meat. We could uh, magic meat. Magic meat. I don't. Whatever. We could do things. We can make ourselves harder to kill. We could heal up. But like, it's just gonna make the fight take longer, and we're still gonna die at the end. We are definitely not powerful enough for that. Our reward is we get to see this animation again. Okay. Let's. Let's go ahead and do. We'll take the same teleport, but we'll go across the bridge. Oh, interesting. It's not a random poem. Or maybe it only changes when you do something significant. <laughs> maybe it only changes if you actually accomplish anything. Alright, uh, let's go through here, and there's a bridge to the east. We could do that instead of uh, allowing that man to murder us again with his attack weasels. Is there a difference between a weasel and a ferret? I actually have no idea, but I'm going to pretend there's not. Uh, are you okay? Is that a cat? Yeah, of course it is. What else would it be? Miss, you have a very large cat. Visitors are rare. Oh, I thought you were... Uh, you can use the bed upstairs if you want. Well, that's nice of you. That cat's got hip dysplasia or something. That's not what that's supposed to look like. Can I root around in your belongings on account of it's an RPG? No, not really. Well, we don't really need to use the bed, so let's just, uh... Let's just keep moving here. Alright, what else... What else is around here? Aside from lots and lots of insects. There's a definite... Susiness to this area, even more than that earlier area. Right, I just, I look at this and I want to think all the thinks I can think. Oh, the places we'll go to get killed by attack weasels. Are these on fire? They look a little on fire. Oh boy, do you think these are enemies? They are. <laughs> are you the same kind of guy? You are the same kind of guy. So that's a malign hologram. I mean, it's a hologram. How much damage could it possibly do? We're just gonna... we're gonna employ the hypno sigils. My guess is that this will not put a hologram to sleep, but what do I know? In fact, it only puts holograms to sleep. That's the surprising thing that we learned. Let's see if we can kill this guard real quickly. We haven't actually ever dealt damage to the guard. No, that's not true. We hit him with the dynamite. So we know he has at least enough health to survive some dynamite. So this is probably not going to work. <laughs> Alright, uh, that does a lot of damage, and I would love it if you would cut that out. And we have no idea how much health he might have above the dynamite threshold, though, right? Maybe it's this much. Nope, it's not. All right, we can do Hollow Pleather one more time. I desperately need friends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My man is calibrating, and I don't... And me without my Hypno Sigils. Well... All right, we're just... It's fine, we're just gonna kill this guard. Bam, got him. Nope. I was trying to manifest it there, you know, the power of positive thinking. But this is, I mean, obviously this is going to be the one. Damn it. 
Well, I have bad news. Do I get do I get some loot? Can I have a little bit of loot? It's fine. This guy's just going to miss us forever. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, it's happening. I told you. Nope, that was it. Okay, so now we have a sense of how tough those guys are, which is to say we know that we cannot take those guys. And we did not even get any meat. Nothing to put in the grinder, I assume. Yeah. Shoot. Well, that doesn't seem like a very viable path. Okay, so don't go up there. That aside, we don't really have anywhere else we can go, right? As long as we can't get the boat out of the, um... As long as we can't get the boat out of the lock over there, so I guess we still want to teleport. We just want to not go to that place. Or honestly, we could go to that place, but just not touch those guys, because they, they move in a pretty predictable pattern. I still love Wayne's walk cycle. This is a thing I feel like we don't really talk about that much in video games, how good the walk cycles are or are not in a game. But an A-plus walk cycle can, uh, can really make traveling around a lot more fun. Alright, what if I ignored the huge flaming buildings? What if we just went somewhere else? What if we found a town, and in that town we found a friendly insect man, and he helped us survive? And we didn't touch whatever the hell that is! It's a writhing mass of something, and I am very anti-writhing mass. Boy, this landscape is, um, it's large. There's, a, there's just a lot to it. But not a single truffula tree in sight. The Lorax would be so disappointed. I'll run out of Dr. Seuss references to make eventually. Okay, this looks significant. What's this? I've discovered... I have no idea. I have no idea what I've discovered. Yes, let's access the terminal. Why not? Oh, okay. It was a teleportation terminal. Now I'm in a desert. Of some kind. Okay, this looks like it might be the original map. It's a very big TV. This person looks sad. Hold on, I need to watch your TV for a second before I talk to you. This is very important to me. Learned bubbles. Oh, hey Wayne. I left my magic gauntlets in the basement, and now it's infested with ambulant skulls. Maybe you could help me retrieve them. I mean, the gauntlets. We should avoid the skulls. Nice. Hooray! Some Snosa has joined your crew. I love having crew members. Also, I really dig your hat. It makes your head look a lot like my head, which is just a smart move on your part. Okay, Ooh, new crystal. Uh, these are interactable, right? Mm, okay, but also empty. How do we get that trash can? How is trash can accessed? Uh, can we... It sort of looks like we could just walk out into the dark over here, no? Hmm. Oh wait, this is like a refrigerator. We found a juice box. I don't really need a juice box. Oh, we should probably, like, before we go getting into stuff, what's your whole deal, Sumsnosa? You have a cool demon skull. That's true, you do. Here's a trash can lid that I found. It's all yours. Wait, does Sumsnosa... Oh! I guess that, uh... That parasite crystal is only for Wayne. Well... So what's your whole deal? You have a similar amount of mightiness. Honestly, your stats don't look, seem all that different. Your philology is better. Okay, uh, powers. Some Snosa can mini-leech. That is a huge amount of will. Also, it's a total bummer that equipping gear uh, does not in increases your max HP, but not your current HP. Ah, skulls. Avoid deadly skulls. Oh god. Wow, there really are. Infestation was the right word. What is this? Psst, hey, roach food. I've got some roach food. A thousand bucks for some roach food. Uh, sure. 
If it's that expensive, it must be good. I've decided. Plus, you know, we made a fair amount of the money back immediately. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's take a nap on the couch. I smeared at Eve the hope of sleep. It was a pungent and, pungent and enginely grace. It falsified outside a beast sweet, ostensibly far beyond motile base. I like it when they rhyme. I know that's not like a thing that has to be true about poems, but I just, I, I just like it when they rhyme. Okay, uh, this is a problem. Damn it, I failed to, <laughs> failed to execute my run. Well, hmm. Okay, hold on. Can we lure them down to here? And then, like, my my hope was that we could we could get them down to that corner and then get them to chase us over this way. It's kind of working. Come on, come on. It's not. This is not working. I'm fooling myself. I am deluding myself. All right, we're going. Oh uh, no, I had a window there and I failed to run in a way that was effective. Uh, we might have to actually die and respawn at the crystal. I think we, we might be locked in here by ambulant beef skulls. Okay, hey, wait a minute. That's good. That's promising. We get the other one to come down? Almost. Almost. Alright. This guy seems like he's never going to come down far enough, though. Just run fast, just run fast. Okay. I did it. I did it. We're somewhere. Oh, dangerous. Oh, danger. Oh, danger. Okay, you know, we're surviving. I haven't gotten some Snosa killed even one time. A fact for which they should be very grateful, because I've died a lot. Yeah, let's get you some gauntlets. Uh, can these... I'm assuming you can wear these? Yeah, check that out. Wow! Wow, that's a lot of mightiness! That was an improvement. Okay, now I'm on the roof. Wait, no, hold on. I probably wanted to be up there. No, I'm not I'm not on the roof, I'm behind the house. Perspective is a tricky thing. In games as in life. Okay. I wonder if we can use the roach food in our bathroom back home. I bet that's what it's for. Okay, so now we have a friend, and it seems quite a powerful friend. Maybe now we'll be able to actually win at combat. I guess we're just going back? Yeah, access the terminal. So... I mean, we don't. there's not a lot of stuff that we can do right now. We can go back to the burning buildings. We try to fight our way through um, north of... The Shining City, the name of which I have already forgotten. I was going to say Polyurem, but that is 100% for sure a thing from Caves of Cud. Yeah, I can never I can never remember a name. And also, that's not true. I can never remember the correct name for a thing. I can often remember a name. I can almost always remember a name that's obviously not correct. All right, let's give this uh, let's give this another try here. We're gonna try to avoid the combat first, but if we get into combat, we have an ace in the hole now at least. Ooh, vegetables! Hell yeah! I'm assuming that I'm getting vegetables from these. Yes, excellent. I love a vegetable. Video games that make you love vegetables. What a bizarre idea. Uh, okay, that looks like a radiator. I would love to not fight you about your radiator. This thing controls the harbor gate. Well, then open it, obviously. Uh-oh. Manifesting horrid projection. That's fair. That's fair. I should have expected that. Uh, hey, Wayne, why don't you try making a sleep? Why don't you try a sleepy thing? Inflicts queasy status. Let's do sleep. And then we know the guards don't really have that much HP. If we can just punch clean through them with Somnosa... Damn, 65 damage. That's a beautiful thing. Also, I really appreciate that the, um, the damage, um, what do you call it? 
the damage conversion on might is just one to one. That totally rules. It makes it really easy to know how good your gear is. All right, the guard guarded, but this is still going to be a lot of damage. All right. All right, projection. I think it's time to do a thing. I'm going to calibrate the hell out of Sumsnosa. And then Sumsnosa is going to... Your special... Yeah, you're just going to attack. Get calibrated. 97 damage. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, that's not even that bad. We might actually be able to beat this thing. Yeah, Samsonosa is a huge asset. Holy crap. Wayne's crew is victorious. 2,000 bucks. Also, another muscle applique. Alright, the harbor gate is open. And also, that guy, that guy just exploded. Uh, I am going to use our muscle applique on uh, Samsonosa. Because I think, I think Wayne has just become the caster of the team. Okay, it did not melt all of the enemies. I kind of thought it might, because, like, why would it melt the guy in that room? Right? Why would that even happen? So we could probably just kill dudes. It's probably, like, real good for our for our supplies to do so. So, as usual, we're just going to open up with them hypno sigils. Hypno sigils. We're just going to open up with them words that I'm bad at. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, blind on both of us. That's no good. Alright, the guard seems like he might be immune to status effects, which is a real bummer. Uh, Wayne has Mystic Meat, and we'll, yeah, we'll do that, and then just keep snapping this dude. Look at how mystical my meat is. No, wait, don't look at my, who said you could look at my meat? Filthy. Okay. And both the holograms are still out. I mean, I think from here it's pretty straightforward. Although we have no idea how much health these holograms might have, right? Okay, apparently it's not that much. Okay, calibration's great. This guy's probably going to be dead before he can... Yeah. That was lovely. Meat and burritos and meat and burritos. You know what? You two. You I will also fight. I... Did not really plan this out. Uh, frozen, frozen burrito. I should probably have like drunk a ju ju uh, juice box in the uh, in the menu before coming in here. Oh, look at them using techniques. All casted abilities on their guys who are about to take their turn. Uh, Mystic meat is probably not the right move. Why don't you vegetable Samsnosa? And Samsnosa, just go for the dome. Please don't get blinded post vegetable, but pre attack. Uh oh. Uh oh. The dark flame. The dark flame's pretty serious, man. Uh, good news. I brought this burrito. I'm a little worried we might die here. I mean, worried's the wrong word. It actually doesn't matter at all if we die, I don't think. Alright, then Wayne is going to vegetable Samsnosa, and, and also Samsnosa is just going to get to work. Let's kill this guy before his thing can be a real problem. Alright, that's a bummer. Although, honestly, blind doesn't seem to reduce your successful attack rate by all that much. I said that, but then, but then immediately... All right, you know what? We have just enough will for Mystic Meat. I'm just gonna Mystic Meat real quick. Gosh, I hope they just keep going for the blind. All right, well, I think we're in a place where probably it doesn't make sense for us to engage in the other battle that is available in this area. But, you know, this one was... This was worth doing. 
we got to fight some dudes. We got we got some resources. We have so much money now. All right, so now we just gotta make it back to the harbor gate. We've solved the first major puzzle. We got a party member. I'm feeling I'm feeling real strong. Uh, what was this again? Oh, right. This is the lady who let us take a nap in her house. Hell yeah, let's do that. And then we'll uh, we'll take out that dude and his weasels. I think we should be able to do that with the help of uh, the help of Samsnosa. The smoke of evening creature and ease rose like a burning dirt in the weeds. Well, you gotta you gotta really heat up dirt to get it to burn. All right, let's go get in one more big fight here. Uh, did I? Oh yeah, this is where we warp in. Hold on, we don't want to do that yet. We want to go get in some trouble over here. I'll say this: I do wish I still had some dynamite, but I th we're gonna. I think we're gonna be okay. I think there's at least a chance we will be okay. All right. So as is often the case, we open with the sigils, and then Samsnosa is just gonna lay one of these mustelids out, right? Or actually, maybe it's the guard. You know, you know what? Because the mustelids will fall asleep, but the guard will not. So we'll go for him first. Oh, he did fall asleep. That's the first time that that's worked on a guard. Well, I don't think we want to get fancy here. Let's just smash. He's trying to buy time until his pets wake up. Can I say I really, really love the sprites for the Mustelids? Especially that one in the middle. He looks like such a good boy. Yeah, okay. This feels a, a tiny bit unfair. It turns out that the best way to get by is with a little help from your friends. Alright, only 75 bucks found because it turns out that's not actually a very difficult fight. But then look at all these bucks. It's not, okay, it's not really that many. It looked like it was going to be more. Oh. That one's grand. Detonation. I do love to detonate a thing. Also, artificial bicep. It looks like that briefcase is just full of guts, you know? Is the artificial bicep... It is, in fact, an item. Increases flesh and mightiness. Uh... Out of curiosity... Nope, can't even equip that on you. How about, can Wayne take this over his pistol, which seems to be quite bad? No. Huh, hold on. If we examine the thing... No, it does not let us see who would use it. You know, I just assumed it was a weapon because it says it increases mightiness. That's probably not a reasonable assumption. Yeah, it's a It's like, it's obviously. Obviously it's a different thing than that. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Wayne is, Wayne is not really a fighter anymore. Giving him way more will is probably a good idea. Alright. Let's get back and get to our boat. This episode uh, got a little bit longer than I intended it to, but you know, we're making such good progress all of a sudden. So now we could probably easily kill all these guys. Um, I don't know that we necessarily need to. I suppose it would be good to have all the meat for the next time we die, but also I don't want to. So <laughs> we're going to see if we can live without it. Oh. This isn't... Did I use the wrong door? This is a totally different thing than... Um, do I have access to my character sheets? Wayne digests many sounds. Though will he texturize another skeleton? That's what happens when I try to open the character sheet. Despite seasons, bungle the liquid domicile. Inside vessels, castigate the truth. Meanwhile, at the Moon Palace, Gibby falsifies. Soon their joyful pseudo-doom will be accidentally exalted. So every domicile appears as the mortal apparel, and every theory is sort of like Beast. Oh, oh well, alright then. Act 2. Alright, oh, Act 2, so there are two switches. That's what makes it Act 2. Also, a button. Also, I probably have to press this button. Do you guys talk? Do we? Can we talk? No. Oh! Well, I don't feel great about that. Okay, just, we're just press the button. Just press the button. That 
That didn't start. Okay, that didn't start it either. Do I have to? I can toggle these. Now, now it's time for Act Two, probably. Okay, there we go. That's definitely basically what I was expecting from Hylix. Uh, that is going to be it for us for today. Thank, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. The intention here is that there will be another hour of gameplay each weekday until we see the end of this thing. Um, you know, it, this one got away from me a little bit. The next one may too. There's something about this th that is quite compelling, I think. So come back next time, tomorrow, to see what other extremely normal things happen. And we'll see you then.